Hello and welcome to Melossa, a unique YouTube channel where you'll find tons of interesting and unique canine content. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave a comment on any of our videos. Do you adore dogs? Are you eager to know about one of the cutest and most fascinating breeds? Then let me introduce you to the Boston Terrier. The Boston Terrier is an American breed of a dog and is often regarded as the national dog of America. It was approved by the American Kennel Club in 1893. They were bred for pit fighting, which is a brutal form of entertainment, but in the 1900s, pit fighting was relinquishing its vogue and was technically outlawed. So instead, they were bred as companion dogs. Hey guys, just before we carry on with this video, I'd like to introduce you our new NFTs specific to each breed. Any purchases help support the channel. So, make sure you check out the link in the description. Breed History The Boston Terrier has the same ancestors as the old Boston Bulldog, and they were in the first years the same breed. Therefore, the early history of the old Boston Bulldog is the same as the Boston Terrier. The story begins in the early 1870s when Mr. Robert C. Hooper of Boston purchased a dog from Mr. William O'Brien, also living in Boston. This dog became known as Hooper's Judge, and it is supposed to that this dog was imported but nothing is known about its breeding, though he was undoubtedly of the half-bred bull and terrier type used for fighting. Hooper's Judge was described as a dog well upon its legs, dark brindle with a blazed face and weighing a little over 30 pounds, or 13.6 kilograms. From Hooper's Judge, and a bitch owned by Mr. Edward Burnett of Southborough, mass named Jip, which were equally an unknown pedigree, but showing more bulldog, came the dog known as Wells F. Described as about 29 pounds or 13.1 kilograms, dark brindle, evenly marked with a white on face and low on the legs, just like his mother. Wells F was bred to a bitch named Tobin's Kate of unknown breeding. Smaller than any of those already mentioned, her weight being given as a 20 pounds or 9 kilograms. Like the others, she was a brindle, the shade being a rich yellow or golden. One of the results of this mating was Bernard's Tom, who standed as the first pillar of the stud book in connection with Boston Terriers. These early dogs were not known as Boston Terriers, but as round-headed bull and terriers and an American Bull Terrier. And early in 1891, an application was received from the American Bull Terrier Club of Boston for membership in the American Kennel Club and recognition of the breed they represented. However, suggestions were made that the club should be called Boston Terrier Club to avoid conflict with the Bull Terrier Club. But the American Kennel Club did not admit the Boston applicants until 1893. Mr. Dwight Baldwin, in his early history of the breed published in the Boston Terrier Club book, mentions some importations which assisted in forming the breed. Facts about Boston Terrier There are many amazing facts about Boston Terrier, and here are some. Number 1. Appearance They are usually short with slightly curved back and vertical ears. They have tiny tails, wide chests, square jaw, hefty eyes, huge heads, black fur and white chest, and a cute face. They might be confused with French Bulldogs as they look similar to much extent. Number 2. Temperament Boston Terriers usually a peaceful dog breed. They can promptly adjust to any surroundings and environment. Yet they can be persistent and contentious when not trained to mingle. The Boston Terrier is a very cheerful breed and would prove to be a decent companion. Number 3. Intelligence Their intelligence level indexing is low, but they are not mindless and courageous. Rather, they are sharp and sweet learners when trained properly. They can be good swimmers when they are in good health. Number 4. Lifespan Its lifespan is around 13 to 15 years. They might live longer, but they can be prone to cancers, heart, and other infectious diseases. 5. Health 
They require care that includes proper diet, exercise and vet appointments. Because as mentioned previously, they can be susceptible to many deadly diseases such as tumours, heart murmurs, deafness, reverse sneezing, allergies, esophagus, and patella luxation. Number 6. Attitude They are extremely cuddly and attention seekers. They love to be cuddled and love to play a fetch. Some frequently ask questions. Do they bark a lot? They are not so noisy dogs. They are usually calm and civil dogs. They are most likely to bark when someone is at the door to notify you. Why should I not get a Boston Terrier? They cannot bear very hot temperatures. Exposure to high temperatures can lead to their death. They are not hypoallergenic, so some people can get allergies from their fur shedding. They snore and fart. So if you are uncomfortable with any of these traits of a Boston Terrier, you should not get one. Why some Boston Terriers are blue? Some Boston Terriers get blue fur due to the mutation in chromosome 25, also known as the dilution gene. Final thoughts. Overall, Boston Terriers is a fantastic small companion breed. They are cute, affectionate, social and gracious. But they also have some health complications, like many modern breeds. So don't let this put you off. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel.